Hey everybody, it's Coach K sending a little love your way early May. I like how that rhymed, right? I didn't even try to do that. <laughs> but I just wanted to take a moment to share a word of encouragement for those of you who, like myself, um, find on Mother's Day it can be a little bit challenging, not for you, but for other people and how they deal with you. I, um, again, don't have any children. I have mothered a number of children, have kept a number of children, but I find that sometimes people struggle with how to deal with us. Like they struggle with what to say, like, do I tell her Happy Mother's Day, not tell her Happy Mother's Day? You know, what do I do? And I, I think that people struggle with it. And if you, it, it used to bother me, I'll be honest with you, it used to really bother me like, you know, I'm not really a mother, so I, you know, I feel awkward if people tell me Happy Mother's Day. I feel awkward if they don't because I've kept kids or whatever. And let me, let me just say this to you today. The struggle is over as far as that's concerned. And I pray that this word just encourages you. Your worth and your value is greater, young woman, than whether or not you have conceived a child. Your worth, my worth, is greater than whether or not we attach mother to our title. It'd be like you looking at your life and negating everything that God has done, negating all the accomplishments that you have so far achieved just because of that one area. And listen, I've studied all of the options. I'm 47 years old. I'll be 48 pretty soon. I thought about whether or not it's time for me to adopt because I can believe God, but I do understand our body changes and the more we age, naturally speaking, the chances of conception go on the decline, okay? Now listen, God is a miracle worker, okay? I mean, just take the story of uh, Sarah and Abraham. He's a miracle worker. He can do what he wants to do. So I say that not to discourage you, but to say, yes, we have to deal with those facts. And if you never have any children, you're just as valuable to God as one who may have many children whose womb is, is fruitfully blessed. So I pray that that encourages you today, that you don't just see yourself as, as in, in light of whether or not you have a child, but you see yourself as being a child of the Most High King, who's the one who created you. He knows your beginning and your end, and he knows that in the middle of that, you hold value and you are worthwhile because why? Because he created you for such a time as this. And if I know anything about God, he doesn't make any junk. So be encouraged whether you have children or not. I'll say it to you. Happy Mother's Day. Have a great one.